so after a very wet first night, it was a very big surprise to wake up to a clear morning. Lisa seized this opportunity and went for a run up to Adderock. While Lisa and a few of our friends enjoyed a great run, I just stayed back and enjoyed the beach listening to the waves and enjoying the sunrise. After breakfast, Cedric, who's our trip leader, he's also a doctor. The great thing about this is that Cedric showed us not just the actual recovery methods, but also the ways to make it more ergonomic, with the hope that you can recover yourself and your mates without actually hurting yourself and needing to go and see a doctor afterwards. It's ergonomically good. Look how much I've gotten out there literally just by doing that with wet sand, okay? Let's face it, less injuries means more trail time and that's a win. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see a full video on this, talking about the ergonomics of recoveries. Next we all settled up and headed off to the tripod track. Didn't get far and we'll stop by the ranges. There was a little bit of confusion about the times that we're allowed to drive each side of the high tide. Technically we were correct, but it's not worth the argument and the last thing we want to do is cause problems. So we happily turned around and took the previous exit and everyone was happy. The track up to the tripod is quite simple, but it's really, really scenic. Once you get to the top car park, it's a very short walk up to the lookout. Definitely worth going and visiting if you're ever at Stratty. It's absolutely beautiful up there. So our next stop was down to the southern tip, also known as Jumping Pin. It's right near Swan Bay. The great thing about this, it meant a really nice long beach drive to get down there. At this point, Kel thought she saw a shark and she quickly jumped to the ground for safety. This was a great spot to get all the cars lined up and have a great group photo. So the only thing left for us was a quick swim in the freshwater lakes before we headed to the pub for dinner. It was exactly what we all needed. Now it's time for the pub. What can be better? Good meals, good mates, cold beers, and talking about the day. This is living. Cheep, cheep.